This is a little uh, tour of some of the various items and uh, materials you can scan on the cruise. Um, this is a two-century-old Belgian tapestry. It's very delicate, uh, very sensitive to light. Uh, we want to keep the heat and light intensity down. That's, again, where the cruise is such a perfect tool for the job. This is showing uh, uh, the scanning of the tapestry using uh, left-side lighting to enhance the thread count and the the textures of the tapestry. As you can see, the piece just uh, rests on the on the vacuum table. We don't have the vacuum turned on for this this item. It's too delicate, um, but it rests uh, nice and flat, and uh, it has no no damaging attachments or hangers or anything else. Any uh, framed item uh, under glass is always a challenge for any other uh, copy device. Uh, but again, because the cruise lighting is so unique, it uh, solves most of your problems. You, you can see here, you see reflections of the lighting on either side of the scanning slot, but the, the one stripe, the one very narrow piece that you're scanning at any given time, uh, you don't get any reflection at all. A lot of uh, materials, uh, architectural drawings, renderings, blueprints, uh, maps uh, such as this uh, have, uh, have been crinkled or folded or whatever. Uh, you don't want uh, to tape it down. We're using magnet strips here to make the initial contact with the table, but then we're going to turn on the vacuum. Uh, and you'll see it gets sucked down to the, uh, to the, uh, to the table. Once you turn on the vacuum and it, uh, it's been running for a while, it kind of sucks uh, all, the, all the folds and wrinkles out of the piece. Um, but uh, there's, naturally there are always still some left, which uh, as you can see here, the lighting in the cruise uh, tends to minimize. So in the final scan, you don't see any crinkles or folds. wonderful example of uh, scanning an oversized piece. This is a painting that is 48 inches by 48 inches. Uh, it's really nothing different than any other scan. We just place it on the bed and, uh, and uh, it uh, scans away. One of the types of subjects that we work with frequently are three-dimensional objects, uh, sculptures, uh, um, collage pieces. Uh, this is an example of a piece that has a reflective sparkly paint and some little jewels and silver pieces on it. As it goes through the scanner, you can see how the scanner actually sees it, uh, and the left side lighting here picks up all the wonderful reflection and texture and depth of the original. Well, there you have it. The the, the briefest of glimpses into the cruise capability. Uh, again, just a unique piece of equipment and, uh, and resulting images that are just impossible with any other capture device.